Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Rashida Tlaib, she could be on her way out of Congress very soon. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, Representative Rashida Tlaib's recent stance on Israel, it's not even recent, and then the other day not willing to condemn the Death to America chance that happened in her district, have a lot of people calling for her removal. And now, a new video has come back. Well, it's an old video. It's actually from October. It's from a week after, just about a week after, the slaughter of innocent Israeli citizens in the October 7th attack. And she was sitting there, and she broke down in tears talking about the Palestinian people after Israelis were slaughtered. Well, this... This video has now come back to the conversation. People are showing it and talking about it and saying, here's another reason she has to go. She's not even mentally stable. Look at her have a mental breakdown here after the Israelis were slaughtered. Absolute insanity. I want you to watch this video and tell me if you think she's capable of serving in Congress anymore. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. She says, you don't get it, Rashida. We really thought Americans hated us. Like the fact that you got elected, like she, she just even that, like, oh my God. So they don't, I said, no. The majority of Americans are literally against oppression. They are, they're against occupation. They're against uh, human rights violations. If you just tell them the truth, they will be on our side. So we have to speak the truth. We gotta continue, stop allowing people to police our words, to target what we say. At the end, Maya and Shama should be alive. And if we don't get back to our shared humanity, I don't think we're ever, ever going to be able to come back from this. And to my president, to our president, yes, he's still our, well, hold on. I know, I, hey, I want him to know, as a Palestinian American, is also somebody of Muslim faith, I'm not gonna forget this. And I think a lot of people are not gonna forget this. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a threat. It isn't. They, they think we're joking. I mean, I think the White House and everyone thinks that we're just gonna sit back and let this just continue to happen. No. The fact of the matter is, our lives are not safe with you or the Forever Peach President. When are we gonna feel safe? When are we gonna stop funding continued, uh, literally, oppression of indigenous communities? When are we gonna say enough? It makes me so angry to have to say it, but I'm telling you, I'm talking to people that literally are like me. They literally, literally believed in this party that was supposed to be inclusive of all of our opinions and our and our views and our political stance and, and all of these things. But what is got, starting to get really, really, really clear and very loud is that somehow 
Many of us in this room, because of our political opinions, because maybe our faith is a certain faith, maybe because our ethnicity is a certain ethnicity, that somehow we're subhuman. That somehow we're not as equal, to, again, of a human to be able to live and really survive and be able to thrive in our country and in the world. It's like it doesn't even matter. And that's what's been really painful. It's just, just continue to watch people think it's okay to bomb a hospital with children. You know what's so hard sometimes is watching those videos and, and the people telling the kids don't cry and like let them cry. And they're shaking and some of you know this, they keep telling them not to cry in Arabic. They, do, they can cry, I can cry, we all can cry. If we're not crying, Something is wrong. And so I'm telling you right now, President Biden, not all America's with you on this one. And you need to wake up and understand that. We are literally, literally watching people commit genocide and killing the vast majority just like this. And we still stand by and say nothing. We will remember this, but all of you, you need to know I swear to God, Allah, you are on the right side of history. You are. You're doing everything possible to save lives.